Rabbit Terrell Urban Bistro with mixologist Paul Espinosa. So, Paul, what are you cooking up for us today? Well, he's going to be uh, serving you the Lemon Sorrel Manhattan, one of our uh, signature drinks here at Sorrel. Uh, not only because it involves uh, fresh ingredients and our sorrel plants, which our restaurant is named after, but it's also very delicious today. All right. Ooh, so, so we're excited. So running through the ingredients for you. We're just to go through as we're making it up. Uh, so the first thing we're going to add is a little bit of Maker's Mark whiskey. And I'm loving Maker's Mark. It's smooth <laughs> and makes it is. me now, so happy. You can happy. substitute a rye whiskey if you like. If you like a okay. little bit more... Uh, Bite to your lemon sorrel. Oh, that was a lot. That was just as much as I would put in there. How many? It's was that two jiggers? This could be, this could be about two, sh two, about two jiggers. Both. That's, that's no, my that's minimum, so that's great. So minimum. I'm going to add a little bit of sweet vermouth <laughs> just to give it a little bit of a, a little bit of sweetness, a little okay. bit of bite at the same time. There's a little okay. splash in there. Uh, and so here at Sorrel, I don't believe in anything artificial, so instead of regular sugar, we're going to use agave so that way you feel like you're getting a little skinny instead of uh, the, the full flavor of the sugar. Well, I need all the skinny I can get, so... <laughs> so a nice, nice little squirt because it is organic, so... Okay. okay. Uh, then we're going to do a little dash of the Peychaud bitters, so a little bit different than your Angostura bitters. A little bit has a little bit less of a bite, a little bit of sweetness to it that goes well. So, Paul, given that bitters are being heavily incorporated these days into cocktails, exactly what flavor does that bring to a cocktail? It almost gives a nice little, like, you hear that flavor when you have the drink, or uh -huh. that little bit of a little overtouch. It just gives that little bit of extra. A little to, bit of extra edge. It's like one of those drinks, like, you can have a little drink, add a little bitters to it, and it takes it to the next level. All right. Uh, your classic is going to be your Angostura bitters. Uh, okay. Old fashioned, regular Manhattan. I use the Peychaud bitters in the Lemon Sorrel Manhattan. It has a little bit more of a sweetness to it, not as strong. Or you can even go New Age and go any of our, we have a lavender infused bitters that goes mm. in. Yeah. I like lavender. Uh, and finally, so I'm going to add a little bit of our fresh squeezed lemon juice that we added to it. So a little healthy amount because it is in the name of the drink. So, so that way it gets a nice little tang and incorporate with the actual name of the drink tonight. Uh, from there, we're going to do a little different than your normal. We're going to actually tear a piece of our sorrel off. So exactly what is the sorrel plant? So the sorrel plant, this is a lemon bitter herb, very similar to like arugula. So that way you add this, kind of ends up being like a natural bitter directly into the drink itself. Now let me ask you a question. If I were making it, two questions I guess, yes, where would I, could I find this at the grocery store? You can't find it, you'd have to go to one of the specialty grocery stores. So okay. the, the Whole Foods, the Central Market. Okay, like a Whole Foods, okay. Or your local farmer market. The best Great. place we can find it. Right. That's where and we find we, our nice big elephant ear style. And we love so. supporting local, so that's great. Next question, could I substitute um, sorrel for like, which as you said, arugula? You could. I could, but... The arugula is going to have a little bit more bitterness to it. Got it, okay. Because if you ever had like the arugula salad, it's going to be very yes. bitter. Right. A little bit okay. more bitter, yeah. Yes. Got it. If you do the arugula, take out a uh, half slash of your uh, regular bitters and you'll be okay. Okay, right. good tip for you folks at home. All right, from there we're going to have our all the cocktails ingredients incorporated. We're going to add a full cup of ice. And then all we're going to do is the bartender's favorite thing, shake vigorously. <laughs> do a double shake for me. Shake, shake, shake. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Quit flirting. Quit flirting. The sorrel as okay. you're shaking it up. So by bruising the actual herbs, you tend to get a little bit more of the aromatic flavor. So if you're like mojito style, you mm -hmm. tend to bruise the mint to give a little bit more flavor out of it. Now, would you ever muddle that? You could, but it's going to become very, very bitter. Very bitter. So you bitter. just want to lightly okay. bruise it. Got it. Got now, like, uh, it. If you, real mojitos, you don't want to muddle too much. Because mm -hmm. if you uh, too much playing with the mint will actually cause it to become very bitter. Okay. So when you see those people losing their minds with the muddles, tell them they're you don't just, want they're that. They're just overdoing work. They're over. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, from there, we're going to double strain. The reason we double strain is because there may be some pieces of sorrel that I broke off during. Mm. So let me serve. That looks so good already. Pour into the actual martini glass. So we're just going to garnish it very simply with a nice big leaf of sorrel. That looks yummy. And since it's closer to me, <laughs> just slide it this way. <laughs> now that's a drink. I taste the Maker's Mark. I taste the... They all just kind of hold into each other. Great. You got a winner here. 
So get into the spirit of the M5 experience. Cheers. I'll, I'll drink, drink to that. that.